Now today's video is something that I've not been super keen to make because it's a little bit complicated and I feel like, you know, this video could be easily two hours long if I really wanted it to be. And it's really hard to kind of condense down whilst getting all the information correct. But I'm going to try and do my best. So today we are doing an F1 2020 livery mod kind of presentation. Now, how do I do them? That's the big question because everyone keeps asking me to do a tutorial video. So we're going to go ahead and try and show you in very, very basic steps how to make a livery. I want to note a few things first of all. So there is an extra video linked down below guys in the description. I do recommend you go watch it. It's about 20 minutes long and that focuses more on the Photoshop side of things, which is the program we're going to use here today. And that video in itself is very effective. I recommend you watch it because it's a second opinion and also you might learn a thing or two in regards to Photoshop. This video is going to be more focused on the methodology and how to get from point A to point B to point C and trying to make it as simple as possible. So let's break down the things you're going to need to be able to mod on F1 2020. And one last thing to note, you can only mod on PC. So if you're on console, you cannot do this. I want to make that very clear. If you're going to enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe for more tutorials and give me some suggestions down below in the comments and let's get this on the way. Now to do this, you're going to need four things, four programs, four items that are very important. Number one is going to be Photoshop. That's the program I use. Maybe there could be alternatives out there, but I'm not sure uh, which ones they could be. Possibly Paint or GIMP. I'm not really sure, but I personally use Photoshop. And here's a bit of an advice. It is out there. You can get it for free if you look hard enough. So that's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say too much in case I have you know trouble because ultimately... It's a bit of a trick, if you know what I'm saying. If you've, if you've got programs for free before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, the second program is going to be Ego ERP Archiver. That's very important because it's the program that extracts and also imports the files in and out of the F1 game and into Photoshop and vice versa. So you're going to need that to kind of install your mods onto the game. Third program is going to be an Intel DDS texture plugin, which goes in the Photoshop program. And it's a special plugin, which basically saves the files in a certain configuration, which means they work in game. And then finally, the last thing you're going to need is the 3D model for the cars to edit in Photoshop. So those four things, I'll leave everything linked down below, except for Photoshop. I don't want to link that just in case I run into trouble um, as it is technically an illegal way of doing it so I don't want to kind of link that information down below um, hopefully you guys do find luck finding it elsewhere it's very easy to find on the internet so uh, give that a crack but for the other three things I'll leave links down below guys now let's jump into this and let's see how it goes and I'm going to try and keep this very very basic now step number one once you have downloaded all of your programs you're going to want to install the Intel DDS texture plugin to Photoshop so to do this, it's very simple. You first of all open up the DDS plugin folder. And as you can see, we've got two folders here, Photoshop scripts and plugins. Now we're gonna do the plugin first. Now with this folder, you're gonna install this in this area. So my Photoshop install is on my C drive, program files, and then the Adobe folder. Within that, you're gonna to go to your Photoshop, which in my case is Adobe Photoshop 2020. You're gonna go in there. And then there's a folder called plugins. So you're going to go in that one. And then what you do is you simply then go onto the plugin section of the download folder. And depending on your system, you're going to have either a 32 bit or a 64. In my case, it's a 64 bit. So you go in that folder. And then this file right here, you're going to drag that into the main directory. And uh, that is it. Simple as that. Drop that in there. And then once that's done, you want to go backwards. You want to go back to this folder here, Photoshop scripts open that up and you've got two little files in here. Now these two files, if we backtrack on the Adobe folder here, this is going to go in the main directory. We're going to go into presets and then inside presets, we have scripts. Within scripts, you're going to quickly drop those files, select them, drag them in and install them, drop them in there. Job done. As you can see, I've got them both here selected. Once that's done, you're good to go on Photoshop. So as you can see, we are now in the Photoshop application. And what we're going to do is open up the F1 3D model. Now, F1, the actual sport, has been very tough and it's trying to crack down on, you know, getting 
these kind of things available to the public. So the link down below is the website of one of the key modders because the, the actual mod is no longer available in race department. And that's how strict um, F1 are with these things. So um, once you go onto the link, you download the 3D model, you're gonna get a folder and you're gonna basically open it up. So as you can see here, um, this is the mod FOM car paint. And we're gonna go into this folder here and this is the Photoshop file that you need. So we're gonna drag that and on this case, open it and uh, this will launch inside Photoshop. And what's going to happen is you're going to get a 3D version of the F1 70th anniversary car. And in this case, we're working on the My Team car because there are limitations with the regular 10 cars on the grid due to mirroring issues. So essentially, uh, what happens on one side kind of duplicates in a weird way on the other one and it looks mirrored. So it doesn't look right. So the best car to mod in this game is the My Team machine. So as you can see, we have it here in all its glory in the 3D model of Photoshop. And you've got some sections here on the right hand side. Now, in order to edit this, you're going to open the JB72 paint file. You can simply double left click on that and that will open it up in a separate window. And now, well, the first thing you have to do in order to edit this is right click on paint, rasterize layer. Once you've done that, you are now free to do whatever you want with it. So. For the basis of this video, we're going to quickly just change the paint. We're going to make it white. Just drag that. And um, as you'll see, it will now update on the 3D model here. So once you've worked on this, as you can see, you can do whatever you want with it. Now, this is where what I mentioned at the start of the video. There is another video, guys. I'll leave a link down below. And that person is Drive Slow. He has a pretty good tutorial. It is slightly out of date, but the principle and the mechanics of how it works is still the same and it's going to be really effective for you guys and it's going to help you out a lot a secondary channel i recommend with lots of tutorials for modding is my friend chris dix i'll also leave a link down below in the description there's other videos on his channel as well regarding modding and photoshopping but basically long story short um, you can do whatever you want with it so as you can see we've got the wireframe all the sections of the car and at this stage rather than focusing on this you would probably need a photoshop tutorial in terms of how to use it and that takes a bit of time so that's where this video could be hours long so i'm not going to waste time doing that what i am going to do is quickly grab the my team skin that i used in my most recent season so as you can see i have a bunch of files here on my pc this is within my season 4 my team folder which is it's got a lot of stuff in it and we're going to jump into um, if I can find it, I've got so many, I've actually already lost it. Uh, we're going to go to the Season 4 car, and we've got a couple of files here. So we're going to open up this one, which is a PSD. Uh, actually, no, we'll go, we'll go for this one, which is the Intel Textureworks file, which is what we've installed before. And this will open up the livery. So essentially, as you can see, one goes onto the other. Pretty straightforward. So we're going to drag this file and install it on here, just like that. Just drop it into place make sure you've got it all nicely lined up and then that will now update on the 3d model and as you can see there we have my own my team livery from season four the very last season of the series now once you're done with this and you're happy and you know you're satisfied with your creation you're going to want to save the project so how do you save this so first of all you're going to go back onto this file here so not the 3d one you want to go back to the the 2d version and now within this, it's very simple. You want to go to file, you're going to go to save as, and then within save as, you're going to save this as a PSD, the very first one on the list, um, a Photoshop document, you can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to save this in this case to my desktop. So we're going to save that file. PSD, very important because basically, once you have a PSD version of this, you can edit it however you want. It will save all of your previous work and it will look something like this. So as you can see on the right hand side here, this is the PSD version of my livery and I've got some base layers and then within that I've got all of my sponsors as you can see here, all my layers basically of the car. So again, you guys can do this and you can save it, edit it whenever you want as of when you need it, make small modifications and it won't be an issue. So we're going to close that. Of course, this is not relevant right now. And that is saving part one. Now, saving part two is very important because this file we're about to use is the one that will work for the game. So we're going to go to file, we're going to go to save, and then you're going to click on the drop down menu and go Intel Texture Works DDS, which is the file we installed right at the start of the video for Photoshop. You want to save 
it as that file you want to click on the save button and then you've got a little menu here on screen now it depends on what you're working with whether it's helmets gloves boots or liveries but in the case of liveries the settings you need are the settings you can see on screen right now so texture type has to be color and compression has to be srgb dx10 plus or bc14 bpp so that's what you want uh, mit maps on auto generate and you want to press ok and that will create a file a dds file and that is the one you want to install on the f1 game which we're going to do right now so as you can see we are now on my desktop and we have the two files we just saved um, the first one is a psd which is the editable document and then we have the dds file which is non-editable so there they are they're ready to go so what we're going to do now is launch the final program the ego erp archiver and this is the one which will help transport your photoshop files into the f1 game so we're going to open it up i've got a folder here extracted on my desktop we're going to launch the program and it will bring you up a menu now we're going to full screen this and we're going to show you guys a very basic way of doing it so first of all you need to go to settings game directory and you need to set your directory because this will help the files work correctly in game you need to locate your f1 2020 folder which should be uh, in whatever hard drive you stored it in which in my case is a t drive program files 86 steam steam apps common and then you want to select the f1 2020 game folder just select it that's going to be your directory which is what that's for once you're there you go to file you go to open and you're going to see all the main directory here of all the f1 2020 files now we need to locate the car so very simple way of doing this you go to 2020 asset groups within there we have if you scroll down the f1 2020 vehicle package we're going to go in there we're going to go into teams and then we need to make two modifications here so we need to first of all modify the fom car which is the my team car or the multiplayer car and then of course depending on what your engine is on my team you know whatever car you have whether it's a fry engine a honda engine mercedes or renault we need to modify one of these as well so bear that in mind so first of all we're going to go to the fom car so we're going to go into that folder go into web and then we're going to open up fom car underscore erp open that up and from my advice the easiest way to work with this is to work on the f1 70th anniversary livery so if you scroll down a little bit um, you'll find it here so f1 170 it's a bit further down um, you're going to go to textures you're going to go to import and then you need to go to the location where those files are which in this case is my desktop and we're going to import this file here which of course is the dds that we worked on before you're going to click open save which will overwrite whatever files are in the game anyway and it's going to change from the 70th anniversary to my own livery optional elsewhere as well worth noting there are secondary files here so in this case as you can see there's a bit of an undertone of orange on this one so it's very simple all you've got to do is go into photoshop and i'll show you how to do it so we're going to open photoshop once again and i'm going to do this live without any cuts hopefully this won't drag on too long but this is how simple it is so basically this is a reflective layer and to get rid of this we need to just basically make it all one color very very simple so we're going to click file once this loads we're going to go to file open i'm going to quickly go into my f1 2020 folder season four uh season four car and as you can see this is what i have it's called an s layer which is the underneath layer if we open the psd all it is is basically an orange square or in this case a green square it depends what color you use depends what effect you want um, but i have just simply a green square that is it you you know you can do whatever you want with it um, the best way to do it what i recommend to do is get your actual um, car livery dds file drag that onto this new layer and then all you've got to do is get the color sorted out so i'm going to quickly make it black and then we're going to go for that green color so um, i think let's say 115 25 maybe 35 let's say you know more or less i'm eyeballing here but you've got the green color um i'll give you the i'll give you the exact color co coordination right now so if you want to copy it you can which is zero zero nine six zero zero that is the exact color green that i use and you basically do the exact same thing so you save the file um as a dds and then as, you want to save it as a psd sorry my bad and then you want to save it as a dds with the exact same settings as before and uh, we're now going to go back into the ego erp archiver so we're going to go textures 
import, we're going to bring in that file. So if we go to here, as you can see, the file is here. I'm going to click open, save and overwrite once again, just like before, the exact same process. And now we have the skin and the reflective layer, which has been fixed. We now go to file, click save, and then overwrite that file. But we're not done yet. So now we've got to do the secondary one, depending on the engine supplier that you have. So in my case, I believe I had a Honda engine. So we're going to go file, open. We're going to go back a couple of folders. So we're going to go back to the teams folder in this case. We're going to go to my team Honda. Same thing again, web and then my team Honda.erp. We're going to open that up and we're going to change the exact same one. You can see right now we've got a bit of an error here because there's a clash of skins and the game is a bit confused. So we're going to resolve that issue by doing the exact same thing. So we're going to import, first of all, the livery, which is here on my desktop. We're going to drag that in. And once that loads, we'll then do the secondary reflective layer, which is the S1. Again, import textures, season four card. We're going to drag that in, which is where I've got it saved. Green square, there we go, save, overwrite, and that is it, job done, finished. So now you go on the F1 game and if you load up the My Team car and you search for the 70th anniversary livery, you will find that you have your skin in game, which we'll show you right now. Here we are then on the F1 2020 game and what we're gonna do is install or apply the livery. So we're gonna go into car liveries under the customization tab and then we're gonna go onto one of the cars and in this case, it's already installed on my car here, but I'll show you anyway how to do it. So we'll go create a new, we'll go to the liveries section, 70th edition. As you can see, the car is now in game. Simple as that. So again, watch the video back, pause it. I also recommend watching the videos in the description, guys, because it will help you out massively. Um, if you want to do numbers, that could be a story for another day because that's a bit of a different tutorial. But in many ways, the same concept still applies, but for the sake of this video, if we're talking about the car livery in itself, that is how you install it, guys. So hopefully, you found this video informative. I try to keep this as simple, brief, and to the point as possible. If you need help with Photoshop, guys, I recommend watching some videos, you know, and kind of, you know, take a bit of time with it, enjoy it. That's the whole point of this, you know, have a project and try and learn and delve into Photoshop and see if you can you know discover things for yourself because ultimately i don't want this video to be super super long but hopefully you guys understand that and enjoy it if you find this video informative and you know you're going to try it, let me know in the comments down below but if you could drop me a like it would massively help me out guys and also if you want to subscribe to the channel for more content like this and you know possibly some future tutorials if you want to give me some suggestions down below in the comments i'd massively appreciate it but guys that is it that is how you make a livery on f1 2020 guys Thank you for watching. Check out the previous videos, which will be linked on screen in a moment. And also a shout out to all of my channel members as well for the support. And I'll see you guys in another video very soon. But until then, take care and it's goodbye from me.